I never thought I'd see this place. Me and my buddy were looking at some land out in Glasgow, Kentucky. And we're driving back to Lexington and we're here in Hoskinsville. This is Abraham Lincoln's birthplace. Yes, look at that. This is neat. This is his farmland. Let's take a look. This is the Lincoln Tavern, which was built later. Which I don't know the history behind the Lincoln Tavern, but this is literally Abraham Lincoln's birthplace. Let's take a look at it. We're just, there's no fence. It's closed down. I mean, you could walk all over the place. I love log cabins, man. There's a lot of water damage. You need to fix that. You think Lincoln's birthplace would be better taken care of? Let's take a look at it. Yeah, I'm not using image stabilization. Sue me. Your image is shaky. Shut the hell up. Here we go. This is my car over there. We're the only people here. Let's take a look at it, Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln's birthplace. It's a tiny little shack. Look at it. There's just like a padlock on the door. Look at that shake roof. Oh, this is some high tech security there. I got my hand on Lincoln's birthplace. So cool. This is called chinking, by the way. Obviously, the chinking has been redone God knows how many times. What about over here on the side? Oh my god, look at that. Let's go around it. Wow, the chinking is falling off. It's coming off from there. Chinking is coming off from over there, too. There's a, a hornet going into his little nest hole. This is the backside of, Lincoln of Lincoln's cabin. Growing up, I know one thing for certain, since this is the backside of Abraham Lincoln's birthplace. Abraham Lincoln pissed right here at some point in time. <laughs> well, you know, it's true. I always wanted to see this place and I'm driving past and it says, there it is. It's just, this is like not too far from the Tennessee border. It's pretty far south. It's like, I'm still like an hour and a half from Lexington. That's pretty cool. There's my RAV4 over there. There's my, there's my buddy. He's my mega rich, mega rich buddy. Mega rich. Yeah, the property has been placed on National Register of Historic Places. Well, duh. There is a lot going around this building. There is a lot of uh, rot. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be fixed on this sucker. Well, so diminutive. Well, there we go. A lot of people think that Lincoln was born in Illinois. I know he was born here. He's actually born right there. There's no, there's, there's nothing here. The gates are open. The place is totally closed, probably because of uh, the Wuhan flu. Or probably actually because today is July the 3rd and tomorrow, this is actually a, a holiday for July the 4th that's uh, celebrated. Ah. One last thing, let's go over here. This is of the Knob Creek place. You are here. Here's the Lincoln Cabin, the little bitty one. Lincoln Tavern. Abraham Lincoln had moved here from the birthplace of Lincoln Creek Farm. Oh, 1811. Oh, my earliest recollection is of the Knob Creek place. Yeah, so we are in Knob Creek, which is also the name of a famous Kentucky bourbon, Knob Creek bourbon. And, I mean, there's a lot of damage on the side of this sucker. Lincoln Tavern. Howdy Howell, born about 10 miles from here. Lincoln Tavern and Knob Creek site were added to the National Register of Four Places in 1988, became part of the National Park Reserve in 2001. Purchased Knob Creek Farm 
the Howards hope to preserve the land use the site to share the story of Lincoln's early years in Kentucky. To serve the growing number of tourists, they built the Lincoln Tavern here. Oh, in other words, you could stop and see Lincoln's birthplace, and then while you're here, make sure you pop in and get crap-faced. You know, drink your, you know, get stewed, you know. And you could talk about Lincoln. Built the tavern from rough-hewn logs using trees found on the property. Thomas Nancy might have done. Huh. 1886. Uh, 1920. Anyway.